Maurice Rosen says, in the event of a government shutdown, such as what we have, what do you do? How does gold serve as an insurance policy? I asked Maurice Rosen to come up now and talk about gold as an insurance policy. Raise your hands if you own some gold coins. I'm not taking the picture. Okay. How many of you own your gold coins for at least uh, seven or eight years? All right. I ask that because you know that uh, some seven or eight years ago, gold reached a high over $1,900 an ounce. How many here bought gold at $1,900 an ounce? How many sold gold at $1,900? Not too many. Okay. Uh, don't worry, because I think it's going a lot higher. Uh, after gold reached $1,900, uh, just a few years later, it went down to 1045 at the end of 2015. Uh, since that time, it's been in a trading range of around the mid-1100s to the mid-1300s. Um, I follow gold closely. And I speak to uh, many analysts and uh, newsletter writers who specialize in gold. And uh, some of them think that gold is going much higher than as soon as the end of this year. Some are looking for 3000 as much as five or $10,000 and even higher in just a few years. Now, I'm not here to really plug gold as an investment to you. I'm here to talk about gold as security, as insurance. Uh, it would be wonderful if gold goes to those higher numbers, but that's not mandatory or so important. The insurance aspect is. Uh, you, we all have various forms of insurance. We have car insurance, but none of you want to be, to you or someone in your family to be in a terrible car accident just so you can make a claim on your insurance. Same thing with health insurance, same thing with homeowners insurance. You're not looking for your house to be consumed by fire so you can make a giant claim. Uh, same thing with life insurance. You're not looking for your family to make a claim on your life just so that they can make a claim on their insurance policy. Yet every year you renew your insurance policy, your insurance policies. <clears throat> Even whether you have a car accident or a uh, health uh, catastrophe, uh, any accident, you continue to renew your policy. That's the way I view gold. Um, Jim here is a uh, <coughs> likes gold, but he, he is more varied in other precious metals that we'll talk to you about. And you heard that rhodium was a fantastic coin just about a year and a half ago. I think he uh, first got, up, got into it around the mid to high 600s and went, uh, I think currently it's about $2,200, $2,300 an ounce. So that was a fantastic coin. And uh, Jim will be a, a new celebrity in the numismatic business for that call. Let's give him a round of applause. I also want to talk about what I call gold as a seesaw. You don't need gold just to go up in order to feel good. Gold is usually is a seesaw asset. If gold is down, it's likely that other assets that you own go up. And that's certainly been the case the last several years. Gold has been in a slump, but the stock market has been on the tear. The real estate has been on the tear. So it balances your portfolio. But conversely, if the stock market is going to suffer, some people think it's, uh, the stock market has reached the peak, you can expect gold to do a lot better. Uh, one last point. I usually, at a, a conference like this, present a lot of charts and graphs and bore you with a lot of uh, statistics. But there's one statistic that I want to leave you with. Can anyone guess what percentage of total household assets owned by Americans consist of gold. I'm not talking about bullion. I'm not talking about bullion. I'm not talking about gold in their teeth. I'm not talking about jewelry. But just a percentage of their assets that is in bullion, in gold bullion form. Would anyone like to take a guess what that percentage is? 2%. You say 2%. Mm -hmm. 
Probably okay. less. What would you say to that? Five percent? Less than a percent. Okay. Well, the total, the total figure of household assets owned by Americans, it's a government figure, I didn't make it up, is currently $111 trillion. You can see that anytime you wish, go online to usgetclock.org. The number is right there, $111 trillion. The estimate for the total gold, the total gold holdings of Americans is somewhere between 50 and 100 million ounces. I want to know for sure. One estimate I, I, I read said 47 million. I think that's a little too low. I'll double it to 100 million. That turns out to be less than one-tenth of an ounce of their assets. I think that's far too small, far too small to qualify as insurance and security against the troubles that possibly lie ahead. You shouldn't be one of them. 